Chapter 3 of Dolphins at Daybreak. You've really done it now, Annie, said Jack. Sorry, sorry, but look out the window, Annie said. Look, forget it. We have to figure this out. Jack stared at the computer. He saw a row of pictures at the top of the screen. What did you do, he asked. I just pressed the on button, said Annie. The screen lit up and I pressed the starfish. That must be the command to go under the water, said Jack. Yeah, then the map came on, said Annie. Okay, okay, the map shows the reef, said Jack. Look, there's the mini sub on the map. It's moving away from the reef. It's like a video game, said Annie. I bet I know what to do. Annie pressed a key with the arrow pointing right. The mini sub on the screen moved right. The real mini sub turned to the right also. Great, said Jack with relief. You pressed the arrows to steer the mini sub. So now we can go back. Oh no, not right away, said Annie. It's so beautiful down here. We have to get back to the reef, said Jack, his eyes still glued to the computer screen. What if the owners find it gone? Look out the window, said Annie. Just for a teeny second, Jack sighed. He pushed his glasses into place and looked up. Oh man, he said softly. Outside the glass was a strange world of bright moving color. It looked like another planet. The mini sub was moving past red, yellow, and blue coral. Past little coral mountains, valleys, and caves. Past fishes of every color and size. Can't we stay a little while? The answer to Morgan's riddle must be here, said Annie. Jack nodded slowly. She might be right, he thought. Besides, when would they ever get to visit a place like this again?